guys, I'm Heidi and I'm a news editor at the iOpener. Today we're going to ask students how they feel about coming back to campus after two years of online learning. Let's go. I'm pretty excited. This is my first day back this term and it feels weird because the last time I was here I was in first year. So it kind of feels like I'm still in first year, like it's just a continuation. But um, I'm excited to be back um, and yeah, and see my friends and see my instructors and just be here in person. I still definitely am worried. Um, especially because I do live, uh, my household does include my grandma who is like 85 years old. Um, so it is definitely a little worrying to uh, think about what could happen if possibly I brought home COVID. Uh, like a little bit of mixed feelings, I think only because I've gotten so used to just being able to like take my time waking up in the morning uh, and I have an 8 a.m. class this semester, but like otherwise, I mean, uh, I'm in media production, so I mean, it's really important for me to be able to come to campus to use the studios, use the equipment, and just like be working with everyone to like create. So I think in that sense, like I'm, I'm pretty excited about like being back. So yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm excited. I'm uh, excited to you know be back and uh, kind of like live the student life. You know, see uh, people in person and actually uh, you know, get 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 my money's worth of, the, of like the school. You know. I don't know how to function as a university student. I don't know like what do you do in a class? What do you like that kind of stuff? Um, so I'm excited to like actually finally get to do that. But it's really nerve wracking to be told suddenly like, okay, we're back in person. Like I'm excited to do that for certain things. Um, hopefully if they pan out. Um, I would be looking forward to coming to campus just because um, as long as everyone takes safety precautions and is like, vaccinated and wears their mask and stuff but also because I moved downtown like in the summer with the anticipation that I'd be starting um, in person at least second semester but I unfortunately I'm in fashion so I don't have any courses in person except my one elective so I'm kind of disappointed but I wish that they were in person because I think that I think that it's safe to start now. Um, I feel definitely conflicted about it. I feel like I'm excited to come back to campus as a fourth year student. This is my last semester, but I feel like it's pretty unfair to students who are not located in Toronto who have to find accommodations to stay here for like the next two months, I guess. I feel like it's not that feasible or well thought out for students who yeah, may have trouble coming to campus. I'm really excited. Um, I think that um, being back on campus will be really beneficial for like everyone that wants to be here, you know? I feel pretty safe. Uh, the Ryerson screening app, I just uh, did that this morning mm -hmm. and everyone's wearing masks. Uh, some people are double masks. There's hand sanitizers. Uh, people are washing their hands. So I feel pretty safe. Maybe there's enough safety in mind on campus, but I don't think there's, uh, it, you can't really just look at just the on-campus risk. It's more, it's also a reality of, there's also a risk just being in Toronto and knowing that most of your students are commuters and taking public transit. I feel like, uh, like Ryerson's done a pretty good job at uh, putting in like uh, the Ryerson Safe program and everybody's still um, wearing masks and uh, I'm pretty sure like uh, the severity of like COVID has has dropped significantly since when the pandemic first started. So, like me personally, I'm honestly not worried in the slightest. So it's you know, right now the being in the RCC is really nice. It's quiet and there's not a lot of people. But I imagine that when the school fully reopens, that with the number of students in uh, on campus, I'm not sure that we have the right safety protocols in place. Ryerson has done like as much as they could, you know, in terms of uh, like making sure students are spaced out as much as they can, like wearing masks and uh, making sure like, you know, only the certain amount of people who are like supposed to be in this building are like in this building using the one cards. So I think so. I think that Ryerson has put in like a lot of measures to keep us safe. Um, in terms of like masking, um, mandatory vaccination, stuff like that. I think that it's really a, at this point, it feels like it's going to be as safe as it c can be, really. 